On its own, the carrier contains zero information. It's like turning on a flashlight with no Morse code. Bright, but meaningless. But once we have that clean wave, we can start painting on it. Now comes the magic, modulation. Modulation is how we take information, like someone's voice, and imprint it onto that carrier wave so it can travel through the air. There are three major kinds of modulation you've definitely heard of. AM, amplitude modulation. This is the grandparent of modern radio. With AM, we take the carrier wave and change its amplitude, the height of the wave, based on the sound we want to send. When the audio gets louder, the wave gets taller. When it gets quieter, the wave shrinks. Yes, this is the same AM radio your grandparents listen to. And fun fact, AM waves can travel hundreds of miles after sunset because they bounce off the ionosphere like a cosmic trampoline. Next, FM, frequency modulation. This is the one you use for music. Instead of changing the height of the wave, FM changes its frequency, how fast it wiggles. It varies ever so slightly, in sync with the audio. FM gives better sound quality and is way less sensitive to static and noise. That's why your hometown pop station is probably on FM, not AM. Here's a cool secret. FM stereo actually uses multiple hidden signals called subcarriers, including a 19 kilohertz pilot tone that tells your radio how to decode stereo. So the moment you hear a stereo FM broadcast, you're actually listening to a multi-layered data transmission. Pretty slick. And then we have the third category, digital modulation. This is where things get wild. Phones, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, satellites. These systems don't transmit your voice directly. They convert it into data and then modulate the carrier with digital techniques like FSK, PSK, QAM, and even spread spectrum frequency hopping. So your phone call, your Netflix stream, your wireless headphones, all digital radio transmitters. Now, 